figure skating fans, how are y'all doing? It's Justin here. Most of you probably know me better by my Twitter handle, Justin Lambchop, and I am making a video on my predictions for the upcoming 2015 U.S. National Figure Skating Championships. And what I'll be doing is making one video uh, per each discipline that I discuss. So this video will be on the pairs event at Nationals, which is actually really exciting because we will have a first time pairs champion this year because all the former champions are no longer competing or competing with separate partners. So let's start off with the fight for the gold medal. And I think it's down between two pairs teams. The first one being Alexa Skimeka and Chris Kinnearum. Now they had an okay Grand Prix season this year. They finished fourth place at both of their Grand Prix events in Skate America and Trophy Eric Pompard. However, they had a much better skate at, in France, and they were only a few points away from winning the bronze medal. This is also the competition where they skated a relatively clean, long program and landed their side-by-side -side triple sow cows. So hopefully what they're doing right now is feeding off that momentum and training in a positive way heading into nationals because they do have stiff competition from their biggest competitor, in my opinion, which is Haven Denny and Brandon Frazier, who maybe have had a stronger um, showing on the Grand Prix series this year. Now, what Chris and Alexa have going for them are their skating skills. They have great speed across the ice, good unison on the spins, their lifts are difficult, and you really get the sense that they are two skating as one, which is great in pair skating. Also, when they hit their technical elements, everything is first rate. I know I'm channeling Dick Button with that comment, but it's true. Their throws are great, great height, great length across the ice, and I love watching their throw triple twist in the beginning of their programs. It's so huge. It's almost comparable to those by the Chinese teams. Now, if they hit their side-by-side -side triple sow cows in both the short and long program, I do think for sure they will win gold. However, it is also their least consistent element. Most of the time, Chris falls on the jump. But there are a few instances where Chris will land it and Alexa will be the one who falls, just as she did in Skate America. So if they do have mistakes, I do think they will still be able to get the silver medal because of their overall performance quality. And we have to remember that they are more of a long program skating team than a short program team. So if they make a mistake in the short, I don't think it'll be over for them. Now, their biggest competitor for the gold medal, in my opinion, is Haven Denny and Brandon Fraser. These two have had an amazing season on the Grand Prix so far. They finished second at Skate America and just missed the podium at Cup of Russia. Now, most people also know this team as the American Pairs team who are skating their long program to the Lion King soundtrack. They are a really strong technical team. When they hit their technical elements, it's on and everything's really strong and the choreography is very very well maneuvered and very intricate. I think that um, the long program The Lion King soundtrack relates to the audience and it's a crowd pleaser and I think it helps them get higher program component scores which are comparable to Alexa and Chris's on the international scene. Now, after seeing them skate at Skate America and winning the silver medal, I thought for sure they were going to win nationals over Alexa and Chris. However, in their second Grand Prix in Russia, they made quite a few errors, which had me a bit worried. Haven doubled her triple sow cow jump in the short program and made many small errors on the single jumps in the long program, and the spins were definitely off as well. I just hope it was a result of jet lag traveling to Russia to compete, but I'm not entirely sure. If their long program is clean, then I think they can definitely win the gold medal. It's definitely a crowd pleaser, and it would be exciting to see them really perform that in North Carolina for the crowd. It would be really great. So for sure, I think it's going to be 1-2 with either of those teams. Now, I think there are three teams fighting for the bronze medal, and the first team I'll mention is Madeline Aaron and Max Settelage. 
and this year was their senior international debut on the Grand Prix, and they did well, placing fifth at Skate America and also fourth at Skate Canada. Now, this team is actually my favorite for the bronze medal because they're an exciting young team, and they are rising in the ranks. In their programs, they are cute. Their programs are cute, especially the long program Skate to the King and I. And it's awesome to watch Madeline because you can tell that she's a skilled ballerina with her lines and her extension on the ice, on the lifts. It's so pleasing to watch. If they skate clean, they should have a good chance of being on the podium. But it's going to be tough to get the silver medal or win nationals because their component scores are a little lower, which makes sense because they are still growing as a team and it's their first year on the senior ranks. They have moments where they come off as juniorish, which isn't a horrible thing at this stage. When I look at their skating, I do think they are well matched and they have good qualities. They just need time to kind of mesh everything together and kind of make everything flow, especially the movements in between the elements. But I think they are on their way to becoming one of the top pairs teams for the United States. And a bronze medal here would definitely um, spring them off in the right direction. Now, I wanted to tell a, a few stories about this team. So last year at Nationals, I was in Boston, and I was out in the concourse, and I ran into Max Aaron and his posse. So of course, I stopped and asked him for a picture, and then someone had said to me, oh, and there's Madeline Aaron, his sister, and I went, okay, cool, and he told me, she's the champion for the junior pairs and I was like sorry I don't follow juniors so I don't know but good for you today I feel bad because I'm actually a big fan of Madeline Aaron so Madeline if you're watching this I apologize for that moment and ignoring you and the next time I meet you at a competition I'll definitely want your picture and then my second story about this team is I actually got to meet Max Settelage at Skate Canada and he was super nice I was a jittery mess I'm, I always am when I meet skaters and I got a picture with him, and I spoke with Delilah. They were really nice, and he could tell I was shaking so, so much that he gave me a hug. So that was really sweet of him. So I'm definitely rooting for this team to land on the podium. So the next team that are going to give uh, Max and Madeline a run for the bronze medal is Marissa Castelli and Mervyn Tran. Most of us know Marissa with her former partner, Simon. Last year, they went to the Olympics, and they were the national champions uh, last year at Nationals in Boston. Now this prediction is actually a gamble because it's their first year together and they have not competed at a major international competition. However, from looking at all the fan videos on YouTube, it really does look like they have a really good connection on the ice. I saw some nice transitions into their elements and nice connection to the music. I'm not sure how the judges at Nationals will rate them with the component scores, but I think they should be close to what Madeline and Max receive if they're clean. I almost want to say I don't think they will be on the podium because there's a lot more uncertainty with this team as they haven't performed under pressure. So it's more than likely that they'll make some errors. But I'm definitely going to keep an eye out for them at Nationals. And the last team I think that has a running for the bronze medal is Jessica Kalalang and Zach Sidhu. They had two Grand Prix events this season. They were seventh at the Cup of China and fifth at the Cup of Russia. I like how this team looks on the ice, but they are not very consistent with their technical elements, especially on the side-by-side -side jumps. Their spins are usually out of sync. However, their side-by-side -side jumps are are amazing. They're actually comparable, the quality of the throw jumps are comparable to some of the leading U.S. pairs teams as I mentioned earlier in this video. I think they would have to skate lights out in both programs at Nationals to land on the podium because they do lack the polish and refinement on the ice with their choreography and their connection with each other. I just think this pairs, this pair needs time. I expect to see them in the top five if they're clean and maybe if the other pairs teams makes mistakes they can capitalize on that by skating clean and rising in the ranks but it's gonna be a fight for them to move up from I think the fifth place finish for them. 
Now, one pairs team that I did not mention in this video is uh, Tara Kanye and Daniel O'Shea because they're out on injury and I'm not sure if they're skating at nationals. Can you all let me know? If they are, it's going to be hard to add them in the podium mix just because I haven't seen them skate yet. But you never know what happens at nationals. It's one of my favorite competitions and there's always surprises. So there could be one in the pairs discipline. Uh, thanks everyone for watching and keep an eye out for my next video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.